Hello, my name is Joyce, and I'm one of the yoga instructors at 125 Live. And I may not have had the chance to meet you yet, so let this be our introduction. Today, I would like to take us through a video short, probably about a 10, 15 minute little um, synopsis of what we might do in an adaptive yoga class. For this class, to eliminate any up and down and fast movement, we're going to be using the wall and the chair as our only props and also as our supports. So let's begin by finding ourselves up against the wall. We can use this wall for support and actually have our hips, our shoulders, the, back, the upper back, the head touching the wall. If we feel comfortable standing just away from the wall, we take a few steps forward and know that the wall is behind us should we need it. We begin now with some deep breaths. Perhaps you close your eyes during this breathing. You can count to four on each inhalation. Count to four on each exhalation. The body is soft. Shoulders are warm and heavy, dripping away from the ears. We feel that vitality of each breath bringing energy to our bodies. Our face is soft. The tongue is away from the roof of the mouth. We begin now with our first active movement, again either a few inches from the wall or using the wall throughout the move. We're breathing on a count to six, bringing our arms up either in front of us or out to the sides, whatever feels best to the shoulder and just to the height that feels best to the shoulder. If you like, you can alternate between side lifts and forward lifts. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll demonstrate alternate movements. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhaling one. If two arms at the time are too much for you, go ahead and grab your chair just for a little bit of stability as we continue. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Make sure to turn and alternate if you are um, using the chair. We're halfway through the sequence. Feel free to pick up your chair and move it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you're more comfortable seated, this pose works excellent from the seated position. Now move into what is called a side stretch or the reed pose. We're bringing our hands out in front of us and clasping the hands. We're then going to turn those hands inside out. Inhaling, we raise them overhead and exhaling, we very gently stretch to one side. We can keep our gaze straight ahead. We feel the stretch from the hip all the way through to the shoulder and the arm. 
And on our next inhalation, we inhale up and exhale to the opposite side. We'll always do both sides. Feel the beautiful stretch on this side. We inhale up. We bring our palms together. Bring the hands to heart space. And now the trickiest part of probably our whole day is clasping the hands again, but instead of clasping them in the natural feeling way, with perhaps your right little finger on the bottom, mix it up. Opposite little finger comes to the bottom. It feels really different, and it brings a lot of extra body awareness. So we turn those arms inside out again. We breathe them overhead. Exhale to one side. We come back up. We exhale to the opposite side. We breathe back up. Turn the palms together. And exhale to heart space. Beautiful. Go ahead and shake out the arms, shake out the hips, wiggle the feet a bit. And for this next move, we do need the wall behind us. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and come against the wall. You'll feel your hips, your upper back or shoulder blades, and the midpoint of your head feeling the wall. Starting with the right arm, we're going to bring it out into a 90 degree um, bend. Feel free to use your chair for support on the other side. We're then going to flip the palm up Bring the arm so that the palm is closer to your head or pointing to the ceiling. As we exhale, we're going to allow that hand to spin down. We might have an angle like this. This, this, everybody's shoulders are different. Inhaling, we sweep that hand back up. Exhaling, the hand comes down. We're getting beautiful movement through the shoulder here. The hand goes up. And the hand goes down. We release that arm, shake out the shoulder, rotate the wrist, wriggle the fingers, and prepare on the other side. Bringing the arm out to a 90 degree angle or whatever works for your shoulder. We flip the palm out, point the fingertips to the sky. As we exhale, we rotate the hand down. We inhale, we rotate back up. Exhaling, fingers point toward the floor. Inhaling, back to the sky. Exhaling toward the floor. Inhaling to the sky, one more time to the floor, and releasing. We again roll the shoulders out, wriggle the wrists, wiggle the fingers, let go of any tension that's there. We now take a step away from the wall. A good time again to grab the back of the chair for some balance and do just one arm at a time. I'm going to demonstrate both arms together. We're getting some shoulder movement to the back, squeezing those shoulder blades toward one another, opening up through the heart center, sending out energy. A way to think of this is if you're going to be reaching into your back pockets. So on an inhalation, shoulders come back. Exhaling, we allow them to come forward. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. And one more time. Inhaling, squeezing those shoulder blades together. And exhaling. Again, feel free to roll out the shoulders in any manner that feels good to you. Wriggling out the entire arm. Perhaps the legs were stiff while we were holding those poses. Wriggle those out as well. 
we're going to move into a cat cow pose, which is most typically done on all fours on the floor. But lucky for us, we can also do that at the wall using some support. Our feet are probably eight to 10 inches from the wall. We're going to bend and press the hips back so that they're landing on the wall. If we like, we can step the feet a little bit forward. It's going to be a very individual body placement. We're bending into this pose, bringing weight down through the ankles into the foot. We're then bringing our hands to rest right above the knees. And as we're here, we're inhaling, pressing the shoulder back, lifting the head to the ceiling, opening through heart center in our cow pose. As we exhale, we do the opposite. Chin comes toward the chest, back rounds, shoulders come together, to, I'm sorry, come toward one another in the front. Inhaling, we open again. I'll turn to the side so you can see it from the side. Exhaling, angry cat. Inhaling, opening. Exhaling, rounding. One more set. Inhaling. Exhaling. We bring ourselves back up to standing. And we prepare for some hip circles. A visual for this is, makes me think of Lucy and Ethel in an I Love Lucy episode. Imagine you're inside a wine barrel. It's your job to clean that barrel. The scrub brushes are attached on the sides of the hips. So we're making hip circles. Choose a direction, make those circles, use your chair, use the wall, Perhaps those circles are small, perhaps they're larger. You'll notice that your hips and your ankles can get in on the motion as well. As you complete one circle, go ahead and move in the opposite direction, making those circles larger, cleaning that wine barrel. There are so many wineries around now, I'm sure we could find great employment cleaning those barrels. Or maybe, you know, a glass of wine here or there. One last big circle. We come back to standing. Beautiful. Shake that out a little bit. And we're going to now move right into a balance pose. Tree pose can be done out in the open. It can also be done right up against the wall. We're bringing ourselves to lean on the wall. Hips, upper back, head. We're finding that solid mountain pose. We're then shifting our weight gently into one leg. We bring our knee, I'm sorry, our heel to our ankle. We can keep our leg right here. We can bring the heel to the, the I'm sorry, the foot to the calf. We can bring the foot all the way up to the thigh. We can keep our hands on the wall. We can bring the hands to heart space. We can spread our branches up overhead. An option here is to press against the wall with the hands and slightly move your hips and your back away from the wall. More of the balance of the pose is being done by you with the security of the wall. On our next exhalation, we bring the hands back down through heart space. We bring the foot back to the floor. We shake that out and we get ourselves ready for the opposite side. We have our support wall behind us. We bring our foot to leg pose either into a kickstand at the calf, all the way up on the thigh, wherever it's comfortable for you. We stay right here with our branches low. We can bring our branches into a cactus pose. We can come all the way overhead. We could even do a steeple if we like. We have that option again of pressing the hands into the wall while we bring the hips and the shoulders away from the wall. 
We're maintaining our balance with very little contact on the wall. We take one more breath here. We're going to release our hands down to heart space, then to hips, and the foot comes down. At this point, we shake out the body, bringing in any movement that we need. And I invite you now to either find a comfortable seated position on your chair, on your mat, on the floor, where you can give yourself the benefit of several minutes of just wonderful rest and relaxation before you move to the rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending this time with me.